Let's say you're using your active panel, you have it turned on here, it's just at the home screen right now, and you're looking to get your device connected with the wire, as we showed in a previous video. I want to show one little tip here that may be helpful to you. If you get it plugged in, because you want to show your screen and you want to have the wired connection because it's more reliable, whatever, and you'll notice that it's not automatically showing up. Sometimes it might, probably won't, if depending on where you are, on the touch panel like for example I'm at the home screen right now and it's not automatically switching there are two ways to get it to switch just like a TV how you have to have to change the input or the source to whatever that cable is in this case it's going to be called HDMI 2 so there is a source button here located on the front of the panel if you can't find your remote or on the remote you have the same option right here it's that little arrow going into a box and you'll see when you hit that home is the currently selected setting, HDMI 2, which now you can tap this on the screen to go ahead and display that device or that input. So pretty basic, straightforward stuff, how to do that. Um, just make sure that if it's not automatically switching or you have it connected and you don't know where it is, just remember that button is how you switch it. And then you can select which option will be displayed from the, you know, the ones that show up. Here's a tip about how to change this active panel's default power on source. So that would be the source that it automatically defaults to every time you turn it on. So if you're finding that you like it the way it is and everything is fine, you don't need to mess with this. But however, if you notice that you're constantly having to change the source to your connected computer or something like that, here's a setting that could hopefully solve that issue for you. You need to go into the panel's quick toolbar, go into locker, Choose the gear icon on the left, and then choose more settings. From here, go to display, and then in here, tap advanced. In this, you'll see an option for power on default source. If you tap that, you'll see a list of all of the different source inputs on this panel. HDMI 2 is what it should be set to for the connection coming out that you would plug into your laptop. That's the HDMI. So I'd recommend leaving it on HDMI 2. However, for some reason, if this gets changed or something, um, this is where you could come to change it back to HDMI 2 or something else if you, if you prefer. Another option in this same menu is something called source detection. With source detection, by default, I believe it would be set to off. However, you can set it to automatic, so if you plug something in, such as a computer, the panel will automatically switch to that source and display it. So let's go ahead and test it out. I'm gonna switch it to automatic. It doesn't appear to be a save button, so I believe that that automatically saves. And let's go back, back. I'm just gonna to go to the home screen. And now I'm going to plug in the computer to see if it automatically switches to HDMI 2 because I just turned on automatic source detection. Plugging in the HDMI. And let's see if it switches. There it is. Automatic source detection seems to work pretty well. So if that's something that you'd like, um, that can get you around having to hit the source button on the TV or a panel or hitting it on the remote. So that seems to be pretty handy, but you have control whether that's enabled or not.